Let's revisit one of our exploits. We saw how we exploited the Tomcat manager in a previous video, and I told you we're going to get back to privilege escalation and how we can escalate privileges. Because if you remember, when we got in, we got in as a low privileged user. We unfortunately did not get in as the root user. So let's revisit this exploit. As you can see here, I'm using the Tomcat manager deploy exploit on Metasploit, and I have preset the options so we don't have to redo this again, and I'm running the exploit. Now that we got in, we have a meterpreter shell. I'm going to run the get UID command to show me in what context or in what user did I manage to get in. And as you can see here, I have access as the Tomcat 55 user, which is not the root user. So my target right now is to elevate or to escalate privileges from the Tomcat 55 to become root. I want to take full control over this system. And to help me with this, there's a script on Kali called Unix Privesc Check. It's a script that you run on any Linux system and it will do a long list of checks to see what kind of weaknesses or vulnerabilities exist on the system that might allow you to escalate your privileges to root. You can find the script at this URL here. So I'm going to copy this URL and go and visit the website. And what I want to do is I want to download the script from the internet from this web page onto my target system because I want to run it on my Tomcat target. So I'm going to copy the link location. I'll go back to my Meterpreter shell and I'm going to ask Meterpreter to allow me to interact with the native Linux shell. And to do that, we've seen this before, you type shell. And this drops me into the native Linux shell. As a side note or as a quick hint, when you compromise a system as a low privileged user and you want to download some scripts or programs or you want to execute some programs or even compile some programs, you might want to do this from the temp directory. Because quite often, when you end up breaking into a system, you'll end up in a directory where you do not have the appropriate privileges to run or execute commands in. The temp directory, however, is designed to allow any user on a Linux system to run and execute commands or download tools and so on. So it has pretty relaxed privileges. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change the directory into temp. I'll double check that I am in temp using the pwd command. And then I'm going to download the Unix Privesc check script. I'll do that using the wget command, which we've seen so far multiple times, and I'll wait for the download to finish. Now, as you can see here, if I do ls, I have the file downloaded into the temp directory. I'll copy the name of the file, and I'm going to extract it using the tar command that we've seen before. Let me cd into the directory that I extracted. Oops, I made a mistake. I uh, just put the full name of the file. Let me list the directory content to double check what was the name of the new directory created. And here it is, Unix Privesc check 1.4. I'll copy that and I'll cd into the directory. Now, as you can see here, one of these files has the execute permission set on it. So this is my script. This is the script that I want to execute or run. And to do that, I use the dot slash. The dot slash allows me to run executable files in Linux. So I do dot slash and the script name. And I get here an output that tells me the usage needs to either be standard or detailed. Standard is obviously faster, however, with less details, the detailed would be a lot more detailed. However, it will take quite some time. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go with the standard one just to show you what kind of output you'll get. And as you can see here, we get plenty of output. There's quite a few checks that the script does for us. These are all things that we used to do manually long time ago. Now, lucky for us, there are smart people that put together these scripts that automate this process for us.
and at the end we get useful output that we can use to try and compromise the systems. Now I'm not going to walk you through this entire output because that in itself is a completely separate section or a course. We go into a lot more details into how to escalate privileges in the more advanced course. However, for now, it's suffice for you to know that you run the script, you wait for it to finish, and then you go through the output. Towards the end, usually, there are some recommendations about certain exploits that could work and allow you to get root access. I'm not going to give you the answer for this one because this is going to be your mission, but not the current mission. <laughs> This is going to be a mission for a later time. For now, what I'd like you to do is W get or download the script to the target machine, extract it, and make sure that you are able to run it successfully. Once you're done, let's move on to the next video.